Hi, welcome to another Biomedical Engineers TV video. In this video, we will look into surgical navigation systems. Before we start this video, we love getting support from all our viewers for keeping this channel up and running. I've mentioned the link for our Patreon and PayPal in the description below the video. Your donation of each dollar will be used for content creation on this channel, so please support us. Now let's start the video. The beginning of the surgical navigation system. In the 1950s, E. A. Spiegel and H. T. Weisses invented the first stereotactic instruments for clinical use for humans and initiated the modern era of stereotactic neurosurgery. However, using the anatomical atlases to plan surgeries spawned many inaccuracies as one could not take into account a patient's individual anatomy. Such issues were further exacerbated when anatomy was altered due to pathology like a growing or infiltrating tumor. This is where medical imaging was able to bridge the gap and enables the use of patient-specific anatomy for stereotactical planning. Initially, this new technology was called frameless stereotaxy, implying that its main benefit was the elimination of the need for the cumbersome head frame. However, it quickly became clear that the devices not only improved surgical results by making brain surgery more precise, but also enabled surgery to become much less invasive, reducing patient morbidity and the risks of infection. So how does a surgical navigation system work? Surgical navigation technology allows surgeons to precisely track instrument positions and then project the instrument position onto the preoperative imaging data. This sophisticated technology is often compared to GPS tracking, which allows travelers to see their position on a map. The equipment for surgical navigation includes a computer workstation plus hardware for tracking the position of instruments. Although optical and electromagnetic tracking is available, most sinus surgeons prefer electromagnetic tracking. Before surgery, each patient must undergo a special high-resolution CT scan, which serves as a map for use during the actual surgery. On the day of surgery, that CT scan is loaded into a computer workstation that processes the images and collects positional data from the tracking system. The initial step for any procedure with surgical navigation is a process known as registration, through which corresponding points in the patient anatomy and preoperative CT scan are aligned. Registration may be considered as an essential step for the calibration of the surgical navigation technology. Surgical navigation allows the surgeon to see the instrument positions relative to the preoperative imaging. Components of the surgical navigation system. Surgical navigation systems consist of three parts, the field generator, the connection panel, and the monitor cart. The field generator, fixed with a flexible arm for optimized patient setup, creates the electromagnetic field around the patient's surgical area. The connection panel, mounted to the OR table or directly on the monitor cart, is the interface between the tracking unit and the navigation system. A step-by-step -step animated workflow guides the user through system setup and ensures a smooth surgical procedure. Application of Surgical Navigation Systems The surgical navigation system offers both optical and electromagnetic tracking capabilities, integration with external devices like microscopes and ultrasound, a broad array of instrument offerings, and core software applications for neurosurgery and spinal procedures including biopsy, tumor resection, catheter placement, deep brain stimulation lead placement, spine decompression or fusion, including but not limited to ACDF, ALIF, PLIF, TLIF, or cortical screw placement, spinal or pelvic fixation, including but not limited to SI fixation, placement of occipital pedicle, cortical, facet screws, fixation for scoliosis, kyphosis, or other deformity, Treatment for spinal or sacral trauma, including, but not limited to, vertebroplasty and sacroplasty. This was a simplified video of surgical navigation systems. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.